Pauli Electron Accelerator The Kali Kiloampere Linear Injector is a linear electron accelerator being developed in India by Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, and Babha Atomic Research Center BARC. It is a directed energy weapon designed to work in such a way that if an enemy missile is launched towards India, it will quickly emit powerful pulses of relativistic electron beam and destroy the target. Unlike laser beams, it does not bore a hole in the target but thoroughly damages the onboard electronic systems. Scientists say that it can potentially be used as a beam weapon. Bursts of microwaves packed with gigawatts of power produced by this machine, when aimed at enemy missiles and aircraft will cripple their electronic system and computer chips and bring them down right away. The Kali is a particle accelerator. It emits powerful pulses of electrons, relativistic electron beams REB. Other components in the machine down the line convert the electron energy into M radiation, which can be adjusted to X-ray, as flash X-rays, or microwave, high power microwave, frequencies. This has fueled hopes that the Kali could, one day be used in a high-power microwave gun, which could destroy incoming missiles and aircraft through soft kill, destroying the electronic circuitry on the missile. However, weaponizing such a system has many obstacles to overcome. The project was first founded by Dr. P. H. Ron, and moved in 1985 by the then director of the BARC, Dr. R. Chidambaram. Work on the project began in 1989, being developed by the Accelerators and Pulse Power Division of the BARC. Dr. Chidambaram was also the scientific advisor to the Prime Minister, and the chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission. DRDO is also involved with this project. It was initially developed for industrial applications, although defense applications became clearer later. The first accelerators had a power of approximately 0.4 GW which increased as later versions were developed. These were the Kali 80, Kali 200, Kali 1000, Kali 5000, and Kali 10000. The Kali 5000 was commissioned for use in late 2004. The Kali series of accelerators are described as single-shot design pulsed gigawatt electron accelerators. They are single-shot devices, using water-filled capacitors to build the charge energy. The discharge is in the range of 1 GW. Initially starting with 0.4 GW power, Present accelerators are able to reach 40 GW. Pulse time is about 60 ns. The microwave radiations emitted by the Kali 5000 are in the 3 to 5 GHz range. Kali 5000, this system is designed to produce electron pulses of about 100 ns with an energy of about 1 MeV, current 40 Ka and a power of 40 GW. 
This relativistic electron beams, REB, thus generated will be used for the generation of high-power microwaves, HPM, and flash X-rays, FXR. The Kali has been put to various uses by the DRDO. The DRDO was involved in configuring the Kali for their use. The X-rays emitted are being used in ballistics research as an illuminator for ultra-high-speed photography by the Terminal Ballistics Research Institute TBRL, in Chandigarh. The microwave emissions are used for M research. The microwave producing version of Kali has also been used by the DRDO scientists for testing the vulnerability of the electronic systems of the light combat aircraft, LCA, which was then under development. It has also helped in designing electrostatic shields to harden the LCA and missiles from microwave attack by the enemy as well as protecting satellites against deadly electromagnetic impulses ME, generated by nuclear weapons and other cosmic disturbances which fry and destroy electronic circuits weaponization of the Kali will take some time the system is still under development, and efforts are being made to make it more compact as well as improve its recharge time, which, at the present, makes it only a single-use system. There are also issues with creating a complete system, which would require development of many more components. There have been reports of placing the weaponized Kali in an IL-76 aircraft as an airborne defense system. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.